Ever been on an airplane? Do you own a cell phone or a smartwatch? Ever had your heartbeat monitored through a device? Do you know what's common between all of these different objects? Chips! But as essential as they are, they aren't always the most accessible. In fact, the world is currently facing a chip shortage. But what's behind it? Keep watching this video if you want to find out why the global chip shortage is happening. Let's begin! Ah, but first, you probably want to know what a chip is. It is definitely not edible. A chip, or semiconductor, is the tiniest silicon wafer that is basically the heart of most electric devices today. It is implanted into the many things of daily use, such as laptops, cell phones, medical devices, and of course, electric vehicles. Without these chips, the devices will not be able to perform some very essential and defining functions. This teaches us that chips hold huge significance in today's electronics industry, and without them, things go, well, a little out of hand. Now, when it comes to the chip industry, there are two main types of companies. You have your designers, or fabulous companies, and you have your manufacturers, or foundries. The former simply designs the chips, and then passes it on to the latter, where those designs are then brought to life. However, a third one is called an Integrated Device Manufacturer, or IDM for short, such as Intel. These companies both design and manufacture their own chips. However, there is an increasing trend of adopting the fabless model. These companies are simply designing the chips and then contracting them out to different foundries, such as TSMC of Taiwan or Samsung of South Korea. This, in a way, is also worsening the chip shortage problem, so let's find out how. On the one hand, the chip industry in the US has managed to grab 47% of the total market share in the sales of microchips, while on the other, it only has a 12% of the market share in the manufacturing of these very microchips. This means that the US is not producing the chips that it uses, but importing them from other countries that have the responsibility. The so-called fastest chip on Earth that is found within the iPhone 12 is also manufactured by TSMC and not Apple itself. This means that the companies that use these chips don't have any control over their production. Importing them therefore makes the supply chain more inconsistent for many US manufacturers. What are the reasons? So when you talk about any good ever, you always take its demand and supply into account. Data tells us that about a trillion chips are manufactured every single year. That makes it 120 chips for every human alive. But what's with the sudden shortage? Why are we suddenly so low on these microchips? And why is the situation so bad that General Motors actually said it might lose $2 billion in earnings? Well, there are several reasons. And like pretty much every other industry, the global chip industry has also been drastically impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. With widespread lockdowns and quarantines, most people stayed home and worked from their homes. This factor changed their consumption patterns. People suddenly faced a huge need for personal devices at home through which they could work, take online classes, watch their favorite shows, and play their favorite video games, and even cope with not being able to go out and meet all their friends. According to the Semiconductor Industry Association, the sale of chips increased to $439 billion or by over 6% from 2019. As a result, companies also started upgrading their digital setups so as to adapt to the pandemic. In turn, there has been a huge surge in demand for devices and hence the chips that are used to make them. Now, on the other hand, there has also been a global economic downturn as part of the consequences of the coronavirus pandemic. This at first made some industries such as the EV industry slash its purchasing of chips. People weren't buying cars as much, and it was understandable why. However, after a while, the economy of East Asia made an unexpected recovery. In response to this, these automakers started stocking up on chips again, buying up all the supply. One more reason for the worldwide shortage is the increasing advancement in cars. The more advanced the car is, the more semiconductors it'll need. The complex built-in computer systems in cars nowadays need microchips to run smoothly. But it doesn't end there. Cars also need less advanced and older chips for functions like power steering. As a matter of fact, the automobile industry is probably the one facing the chip shortage at its severest. 
Now, as mentioned before, many automobile makers canceled all their orders due to a fall in demand during the height of COVID-19 last year. Then shortly, as the demand rose back again, the automobile industry started buying up chips. For one thing, the chip industry is simply not capable of adapting to such quick changes in demand, and it couldn't keep up its supply as quick as the demand, and this in turn also largely contributed to the shortage. But what's being done to make it better? So how severe is the chip shortage? Well, experts are looking for it to be present well into 2021. There have been some forecasts expecting the shortage to last for a six-month period. So is anything being done to reverse it? As requested by many of the industry's figureheads, the responsibility has been laid on the Biden administration to ensure that such a shortage doesn't take place in the future. The White House has also been forced to take measures and shore up the chip supply chain in the United States. In fact, Biden himself stated that he needs the relevant individuals to focus on making such shortages less likely in the future. The president also said that he wants producers to create the chips in the United States instead of depending on other countries, or as an alternative, strengthen the country's relationship with the nations who are chip experts. The producers of these microchips also claim that they'll try their best to increase production so that the shortage is reversed in the near future. However, as things seem right now, it is very unlikely that they'll be able to until at least late 2021. This is because the factories that manufacture these chips cost tens of billions of dollars to build, and increasing their capacity can take up to a year for testing and qualifying complex tools. This is also probably why the supply of microchips is very inelastic. And as for the future of microchips, their demand is expected to only go up with time. As soon as the immediate shortages are eased up, uses like 5G-enabled cell phone chips will rear their ugly heads. In addition, the increased level of comfort that firms and individuals have with remote work will also increase the demand for various devices and digital setups. The future is digital, after all. And all of this will lead to an ever-increasing demand for microchips. If the world isn't rid of these shortages, it could really get critical very soon. What's coming? China, for one, is trying its hardest to produce its own chips and meet the country's demand organically. The country has also offered a plethora of subsidies to the chip industry as it tries to reduce its dependence on Western technology. Although right now it's import most of its chips, it wants to switch to locally produced chips nonetheless. However, one major hindrance is the U.S. restriction on sales of chips to China, and not to mention on the Chinese tech giant Huawei. It seems now that China is using its motivator to start its own production lines. In fact, Beijing now considers chips one of its top priorities in its next five-year plan. And not just that, but over a trillion dollars have also been set aside for the development of the microchip industry within China. The aim is to produce about 70% of the total supply that will be used within China over the next decade. With COVID-19, more and more parties in the business world started looking into the supply chains. This includes the electronics industry, which is mainly based in China. What comes after that is the fact that one of the biggest manufacturers of chips is TSMC that is based in Taiwan, which is supposed to make it easier for China since Taiwan is an ally. However, geography-wise, Taiwan's still an island that's off the coast of China. This makes the issue a geopolitical one. Since China can't make jets without chips and Taiwan's busy in its own geopolitical disputes, a lot of people now want to benefit from this and make chips in the United States. And that was it for today's video. What are your opinions on the ongoing global chip shortage? What are your predictions about its future? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel where we post interesting videos every now and then and we'll see you next time.